Here we have an MSI laptop, model number G566, that came in for CPU fan not working after applying thermal paste. Let's read what the customer wrote. The customer said, I was replacing the thermal paste for the laptop and had to remove the three fan connectors. When I tried to put back the cable for the CPU fan, it wouldn't work. The other two fans for the graphics still work. The screen also came loose, so I duct taped it for now. If it's possible to get that fixed too, if not, don't worry about it. So the CPU fan stopped working after applying thermal paste. The customer mentioned that he removed three fans to apply thermal paste. Two fans still work and the CPU fan stopped working. So our CPU is right here and the CPU fan connects right here. Now what I want to look for is possibly a knocked off component. Maybe the customer knocked off a component by mistake. The fan connector stopped working for a reason. Let me do a quick visual inspection. We did not remove the board of the housing yet. Usually I like to check the side of the board before we remove the whole board and spend the time. A lot of times we can fix the issue from the side of the board without having to disassemble and remove the board. Battery connector, our M.2 on top here. And we have some Play-Doh here. Okay, so I do not see anything obvious on the board. I did not do any measurements yet. But what could possibly go wrong when disconnecting and reconnecting a fan connector? One thing I want to do is look inside that connector to make sure all four pins are there. And it's going to be tough, difficult to look at that connector from the inside. Right now, I have the laptop angled at around 85 degrees, sharp angle. Maybe we need to angle it at 90 degrees. I mean, right off the bat, I see a missing pin, right? Or am I seeing stuff? We have this pin right here. We have this pin right here. We have the last one, but where's the second one? The second pin is broken. We got it. We got it. Two minutes in, and we know where the problem is coming from. I mean, what could it possibly be? A knocked component, a blown filter, blown fuse, or a bad connector? One of the four. We use the process of elimination to figure out the issue without wasting time. The question is now, do we need the board to be taken out of the housing to work on this or can we just work on it and replace that connector while we still have the motherboard in the case? We should be able to do it without removing the whole board. Normally what I would do is apply heat from the bottom with hot air take out the connector, apply solder, then we apply heat from the bottom again and we solder a new connector. That connector will get reflowed in place. Done. Two minutes and we're done. But I do not want to remove the board. I do not want to remove that board. What we're going to do is use low melt solder to remove that connector. And I have a lot of MSI donor boards, so getting that connector is not a problem. I have a bunch of boards right next to me and MSI is not one of them. Let me grab one from the inside just to make sure that I have the connector before we desolder this one. I would hate to have to order one and wait. Asus, Asus, Razer, 
HP, Dell, Asus. I need the blackboard, so I do not care about the red boards, the blue boards. Right there, right there, got it. And this board appears to be similar. Yeah, I mean, it's a bit different, but we should have the same connector on this board. Right there. Is it the same connector? This and this. Exactly the same connector, right? But it's flipped backwards. ACES, ACES, number four, number four. We got it. We got it. So I think we're going to start with the donor, remove that connector. And we're going to do this two ways. From the donor, I'm going to use hot air, apply hot air from the bottom, so you can see how that is done. And on the customer's board, we're going to use our soldering iron. You as the viewer, you're very lucky to be watching this channel because you get to see both ways. We're going to remove this connector using hot air and we're going to use and we're going to remove the customer's connector using our soldering iron. I wish I had somebody showing me how to do that stuff when I was learning. I had to learn the hard way. See? Now, if the customer's board was out, I would apply solder here, tin those pads, put the connector, apply heat from the bottom, done. Now, I do not want to burn that screen connector, so we have to be careful. And there are a lot of things that I do not want to burn, including this cable. I just covered that cable so we do not touch it by mistake since we're going to be using our soldering iron. So we're applying low mount solder. We have just a little bit too much. And the connector is out. Let's use our anti-glare light, the Northridge Fix anti-glare light. See? Big difference. Just look at the difference. No anti-glare. You can barely see the pins. Anti-glare. You can even see the proper color of that board. Look at the yellows on the capacitor. Ring light, the yellows are washed out. Anti-glare, the image is more saturated. I keep mentioning anti-glare in every video. If you are in the same type of business or you are doing this as a hobby, it's a must have. It's not an option. Where do you buy it from? How many times do I need to mention it? Log in to northridgefix.com, click on shop, add to cart, check out pay, and we almost always ship out same day. We sell everything from this amazing microscope, articulating arm, Soldering station, hot air station, thermal camera, original Amtec flux, low melt solder, tweezers, everything, one stop shop. If you have ordered from us before, you know how fast we ship.
very nice and let me grab my anav.mini pen for more precision It would have been a lot easier with hot air, but I do not want to remove the board. I would rather suffer. Just like when my wife buys the groceries and she has all the bags in the car and she asks me to go and get the bags. I get them all in one shot with two hands. I have like 20 bags here, 20 bags here. And I tell her I would rather break my hand than have to go twice. I mean, I'm an athletic person. I'm not lazy. But with groceries, I tell her I would rather break my hand and hold 40 bags in two hands than make two trips. It's the principle of things. I do not know what's principle about making one trip, but still, I don't know. Waste two trips for groceries? Why? Signed by NF. That looks horrible. Signed by NF. We are done. I'm going to hand the laptop over to Big Boss to reassemble and test. And maybe I can finish the video once the heatsink and fans are back on the board. I'll be back. All right, so we put the fans and heat sink back on the board and the one that was not working is this one right here. The other two fans were working, but this one was not working. So what we did was replace the connector that you see right here. Why is the camera crooked? Good. Battery is connected. And all we have to do is push on the power button. And we're going to monitor the fans. Is the fan spinning? Yes, right there. So we are done. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll do something else in the next video. Awesome. Better than